Why are you looking at me like that? Tell her. Tell me what? What the hell is going on? Hey everybody, this is Locke from Co-Optimus bringing you the Aliens Colonial Marines Co-Op Review. Let's get started. Now this game has been in the cooker for a while. Five years ago, Gearbox and Sega announced that Aliens Colonial Marines would be coming to consoles, PCs, everything. And it sounded promising, bringing that co-op gameplay as well as some new story elements to the Aliens franchise. It's a continuation of the movies, which is really cool. Now before we get into Aliens Colonial Marines, let's take a look at the lineage of the Aliens games. The first game was a total conversion of Doom. And over the years, there's been a ton of shooters that have taken on the Aliens franchise name. Some are good, some are bad. It all started back with that Doom conversion, which may be the best one. And then we move into the later years. We had Aliens vs. Predator, and then the remake a couple years ago. And then now, we come to Aliens Colonial Marines. But uh, yeah, let's take a look and see if that five years of development, what it did for this game. It takes place between the events of Aliens and Alien 3, and, and what you get from this are returning characters, you get familiar faces, although the voice acting isn't quite there. They didn't get all the voice actors, but you're going to be playing alongside those Marines that you saw in the movies. So, that leaves us with the gameplay. Now the shooting is pretty basic. It's a lot of left trigger, right trigger, aim down the sights, take out everything, and it really doesn't have quite the feeling that you want. When you hit an alien with bullets, you want it to feel, you want it to have some impact, and it's not quite there. It's very unsatisfactory, which is unfortunate because the guns actually sound really awesome. The pulse rifle is spot on. Now there's there's nothing special about the gameplay in Aliens Colonial Marines and it kind of feels like a mixed bag and now one of the key things that we should touch upon is the the item pickups and you're going to get a lot of ammo in this game and you shouldn't have to worry about what you want to pick up you just want that armor that health kit that ammo and you should just be able to run over it but it makes you look at the item hit a button and pick that up and I don't know if this is a gearbox trademark because you have to do that in Borderlands as well and it's, it resides here in Aliens Colonial Marines and it just seems like a weird thing for a shooter. When back, if we go back to the Doom, <laughs> Doom you just have to walk over stuff to pick it up. So, one of the cool things about Colonial Marines is that it has a global character experience and challenge system. Now this allows you to purchase unlocks and customize a bunch of weapons and as you complete levels, kill enemies, find pickups, and, and do challenges, you'll earn that experience that counts towards your player level. You'll be able to unlock things like scopes, ammo clips, and even custom skins, which is pretty cool. In terms of tension and, and you know, staying true to the... the in terms of, of keeping up the tension and staying true to the sort of feelings of an Aliens movie, it, you've got to rely on that motion tracker. That's in there. You get in those pings, and you see the hordes of aliens coming at you. And really, it's it's weird because at the start, it's, it's very useful, but towards the end, it, it just seems really predictable because the AI isn't great in this, and you can a almost always find where they're coming from without the motion tracker. When you're playing co-op in Aliens Colonial Marines, it, it shifts from a more tense feeling to uh, more of an aggressive push because because you do have more people with you, compounded with the fact that you can revive each other. So that helps with the difficulty and, and makes the game a bit easier. What's really too bad about Aliens Colonial Marines is that it's filled with technical problems. You get NPCs stuck, uh, and that makes uh, events not trigger. Uh, the, the AI is just, it's just deplorable. It's pretty, pretty bad, and aliens are, you know, they have this pack mentality, but in this, they just sort of come at you through doorways and you can just sit there and bottleneck and kill them. It's really too bad because back when we saw demos of it, it looked amazing. But then when we got the finished product, it, it seemed like a mixed bag. It, it, it seems like some textures aren't there and, and the models are just really subpar for a game released in, in 2013. 
Well, we've played this over multiple PAXs and, and E3s. We we're really excited to play co-op in Aliens, but really, it just totally misses misses the dropship on this one. And while it, the co-op still has, it's a lot of fun to play this with friends. It's the the lack of polish and bad feeling of the of the shooting just brings the whole game down. Whether it's rushed or scrapped or whatever happened in the in the development cycle, it, it's really showing in here. And and again. The five years of development does not did not pay off in this instance, and hopefully we don't have to wait for another five years for a decent Aliens game. So be sure to check out our co-op FAQ for all the full details of the co-op experience in Aliens Colonial Marines, as well as visit our website for the full written review. 